Hey Realtors, Jenny Williams here with the Austin Board of Realtors. Thanks for tuning in to another Tree Pack Tuesdays update. I'm glad you've tuned in this week because it's a big one. I've got two local advocacy wins to tell you about, and they're both about something that impacts all of us, property taxes. During the last legislative session, Senate Bill 2 was signed into law. SB 2 sets guidelines for local governments about property taxes and also created some rules around transparency to help consumers. It was a win-win for everyone. Those guidelines say that taxing jurisdictions can only increase revenue from property taxes by 3.5% before they ask the voters for permission. There's a clause in SB2, though, that allows local governments to increase property tax revenue by 8% if there's a disaster declaration. But listen, it's rough out there. We've got historic unemployment and a housing market that's crazy because there's super limited supply. But you're out there, you know that. And I guarantee that this type of disaster is not what the legislature had in mind. So on to our advocacy wins. The first one, Austin. If you live in Austin, you probably received a call for action email from us in July. We asked you to reach out to your council member and tell them to keep property taxes within the Senate Bill 2 guidelines. I'm excited to share that over 800 people responded and over a thousand emails were sent to council. Guess what? You spoke and they listened. They set the property tax rate within the Senate Bill 2 guidelines because they understood what you were saying. Our next advocacy win just happened last week in Pflugerville. We partnered with the Williamson County Association of Realtors to send out a call for action for members in that area. Why? Because the city of Pflugerville proposed a budget that would increase property tax revenue by 7%. That's crazy. I'm excited to say that 16% of the people who received the email responded in two days alone. And guess what? Council did exactly what we asked them to do. One council member said he heard the community loud and clear, and that's why he voted the way he did. Thanks to everyone who responded to the call for action. Now that is Tree Pack in Action.